Research into controlled fusion power for the production of electricity has been conducted for over half a century now. One of the most successful projects, or at least the best funded, is ITER, a joint international research project involving six countries and the European Union and a whopping price tag of 10 billion euros. The plan is to construct a kind of miniature sun inside the lab. It's a controversial project, but the man-made fusion reactor might eventually solve energy problems for future generations. It's the year 2100. We're in a classroom learning about energy. 99% of all the visible matter in the universe is in an extraordinary state. This condition long puzzled physicists, but researchers wanted to understand it. They wanted to find and exploit a nearly inexhaustible source of energy. They wanted to harness the cosmic energy of the stars and the power of the sun for use on Earth. For billions of years, the sun has been pumping vast amounts of energy into space. Atomic nuclei collide in the interior of a star. At the inconceivably high temperatures found there, hydrogen becomes helium. The altered matter is in a plasma state. 21st century researchers believe that bringing the energy of the sun to the earth can solve the energy problems of the future. There's an unbelievably high amount of pressure in the sun's core, which allows fusion reactions. This pressure is not present on Earth. Scientists around the world are still struggling to solve the problem. In the 1960s, Russian researchers took the first big step. They built a tokamak a ring-shaped reactor that employs giant magnets to contain the reaction. It was a groundbreaking idea, even though it was still light years away from a man-made sun. And the scientists have continued to refine the idea by increasing the amount of pressure and improving the functioning of the magnetic coils. These are extremely important because the plasma has to remain incredibly hot to produce energy. But the researchers haven't managed to get the interplay of factors quite right. Not yet, anyway. In the 1990s, a breakthrough seemed very close. Specialists in Britain got the individual components of the reactor working together better than any team had before. But they still didn't manage to produce plasma. Even so, the results were promising. Successfully bringing the sun's energy down to Earth seemed to be just one or two tests away. The next step, a gigantic experimental reactor called ITER, is the instrument experts say could achieve the breakthrough. Building it is expected to cost at least 10 billion euros. And the expectations of the reactor are as high as its price tag. Researchers say they hope that the facility will finally make the dream of a fusion reactor come true. One advantage of the system is that the ITER doesn't burn any fossil fuel. There is an almost unlimited supply on Earth of the raw materials required for fusion and the energy in a single gram of the fuel is equivalent to that released by burning 11 tons of coal. When the hydrogen isotopes deuterium and tritium merge, it creates the nucleus of a helium atom and a neutron. And 80% of the fusion energy is contained in the neutrons. These have no charge and race right out of the cage that's been created by magnetic fields. But they're slowed down by a wall surrounding the reactor, heating it. That heat can be converted into electrical energy. A vision of the future that could soon become reality.